Yo, what's up, my good people? Welcome back to Baseline the Goal Line. I am Alan Colby, Z. Colburn, and y'all know what we do around here. Survive. Sipping and sports talk, right? So what I want y'all to do is comment down below. Let me know what it is that you're sipping on. If you don't have something in your hand right now, pause the video. Go grab something and bring your ass back. And then we're going to raise our glasses. This is Apple Crown, right? So we're going to raise our glasses and we're going to toast to life, health, Wealth, and last but not least, sports talk. Salute. Now we can get the show popping. So if y'all saw the, the title of the video, right? Ja Morant or Zion Williamson? Did the Pelicans make the correct choice by going with Zion Williamson number one? And through the course of the NBA history, we've always had people who were going to be cornerstones of the NBA and push the NBA forward to the new to the next decade or whatever the situation is, right? Go back to Jordan, and you had Shaq. Then you had Kobe, and you had Allen Iverson. You had Kevin Garnett. Then you had LeBron, KD, Steph, Zion. That is going to be a question that is going to be asked of Zion, not even of Zion, but about Zion for the rest of his career, right? And I want to get into some news when it comes to his latest setback of injuries. Let's get into this really quick. There was some bad news in the NBA today, and it involves Zion Williamson, who has suffered a setback in his rehab process. He'll be dialed back even further. Zion has not played a game this season because of off-season surgery he had for a fracture in the right foot. He'll be pushed back in the rehab. The team continues to wait for the bone to properly heal. So, Jalen. Let's just talk about that real quick, right? And while Zion was at Duke, he suffered an injury at Duke where he missed a little bit of the end of the season. I don't remember the exact games. Don't quote me on that. But he did miss some games at the end of the season because he blew out his sneaker, right? And even with that being said, excuse me, Zion was touted as probably the most anticipated draft prospect since LeBron James. Coming out, he signed a $75 million deal with, with Jordan um, and it was Zion was going to be the person to take the NBA to the next quote unquote millenn or century and moving forward. Zion was going to be the person that was going to push the NBA forward. But me, Allen, Kobe, Z. Colburn, I stated that I'm not so sure about that. And it wasn't because I didn't think Zion was box office, which I understand that is why the Pelicans chose Zion over number one overall, is because he is box office. He's electrifying, and he's going to sell Subscribe. tickets to. Uh, he's going to sell season tickets. He's going to put asses in the seats. So I get it, but I had cause to pause, and the reason is is because of his how big he is and his health problems that I saw with Zion at Duke and what I thought was going to be his problems moving forward, right? So I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of stats when it comes to Zion Williamson and it comes to Ja Morant. And the reason why I want to do this is just to put some stuff into perspective, right? So take a look at this. This is the head-to-head -head comparisons of Ja Morant and Zion Williamson, right? Both came into the league um, at the same time. Zion Williamson has yet to play in a game this year, and is due to injuries, right? So if you think about it, John Morant won Rookie of the Year, and I think Zion would have won Rookie of the Year had he been healthy his whole rookie year, but it goes back to the theme of what I'm speaking of, of him not being healthy. John Morant won Rookie of the Year. Points per game, Zion is averaging 25.7, which is why I said he is box office and he's going to put asses in the seats. But can he stay healthy? Ja is averaging 19. Rebounds a game, you see it here. Assist a game, you see Ja is over Zion. But the biggest thing that I want to get to with all of these stats is this here, right? Let me make this bigger. That right there. Total games over the course of a two 
And let's just say two and a half year, even though we're a little bit ways off of the halfway mark when it comes to the NBA season this year so far, John Morant has played, played in 150 games. And granted, John Morant has small little knickknacks here and there. But look at this number. In two and a half years, Zion has played equivalent of a full NBA season, along with three extra games. And the reason why this is so important, it goes back to what I previously stated about him being healthy. It is reported right now that Zion Williamson is 330 pounds. And what I have to ask is, my brother, you're making all this money. You have all of this new technology, new technology, I'm sorry, to your exposure. Why don't you have a nutritionist? Why don't you have people who are in your corner pushing you to lose weight? Because I think that is his biggest vice. And it doesn't help that he's in New Orleans with all that good ass food down there. But I want to show you guys something. And I just want to picture this and frame this and put stuff into perspective, right? Take a look at this video here. And this is a video of Zion Williamson. And this is before the report of that we just saw with uh, Mike Wilbon, Stephen A., Jalen Rose, and, and Greeny. But I just want y'all to look at this. This is a picture of Zion Williamson shooting uh, during his rehab. Just look how big this dude looks. Check this out. Look at him. No lift. Barely getting off the ground. He just looks disgusting right here. So, once again, I ask, did the New Orleans Pelicans make the correct choice. Zion, or John ja, ja Morant is as electrifying as Zion Williamson. He may not be as box office as Zion Williamson because people are enamored by how high Zion can jump, the dunks, the, the overall athleticism that Zion Williamson has, which I think in turn... It, it hurts him when it comes to his health because you have such a big body mass coming down on bones. And uh, and what I mean by bones, I mean, you know, the impact of him jumping so high because I'm it's, it's reported that he has over a 45 to 50 inch vertical, which is insane for somebody who's 6'6 six, six and 300 pounds, 300 pounds plus. Right now, it's stated that he is close to 330 pounds, which is nuts. I'm hearing that he is eating whole pizzas in one sitting and washing it down with things like two liter sodas and shit like that. Like, why are you doing this as a professional athlete to yourself? And I'm wondering who's, like I said again, I'm wondering who is in his corner to, to guide him or lack thereof. Does he not have anybody in, the, in his corner guiding him? to make the right decisions. Is he not happy with New Orleans? Because there's rumblings also that he's not happy with New Orleans, with the Pelicans front office. So is he being defiant in regards to that? But if you are being defiant in regards to that, you have to also ask yourself as a organization, as a general manager, as a president of basketball operations, is it even gonna be, if, he's, if he is unhappy with New Orleans and he wants to move on, if somebody else is going to be willing to pick him or to take him and to give him a contract, ask yourself, is he going to, you're going to have to ask yourself, is he going to be healthy enough to push your franchise moving forward, right? It is so funny because in that same report that we had with, um, with what Greeny spoke, somebody else, Stephen A. has some, some really good information in regards to that as well. And I want to get to that too. I want to get to what Stephen A. Smith said, because this is kind of some information that's good, but it's kind of also mind boggling at the same time. Check this out. Anything. And I don't mean to be the Grinch. I don't want to steal that title from Jayla Rose, but I'm just going to do it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got an announcement to make. Is it possible? Okay. And I'm not saying he's faking his injury. I'm not questioning the legitimacy of it, Will Bond, in any way. I want to be very clear about that. But Zion Williamson will not be playing for the New Orleans Pelicans in two years. 
I believe he's not that enthusiastic about playing for that franchise. Mm. Somebody need to say it. Somebody need to get it out. So I'm going to do it for y'all. He's not excited. Uh, he wants to play the game of basketball, but considering who he is, how box office he is, and what he brings to the table, I know how you are, and guarding a guardian of smaller market and all of that <laughs> That's stuff. Where I'm but going. some cats don't want it. I truly believe, and it's just my belief, no intel, no inside information. It's just my belief. He is not that enthused about playing in New Orleans. Yo, what would that mean for... Now, a lot of times, you know, I am kind of on a fence with what Stephen A. says due to the fact that I think sometimes he does shit just for ratings. And I think he does stuff just to get the um, rise of people because it's, it's, it's going to, you know, cause conversation. But I think he may be on to something in this. And the reason why I say that is because the same situation that happened with the front or when Anthony Davis was there and there was rumblings that Anthony Davis didn't want to play in New Orleans anymore because of the front office and because of the way ownership was running things. They weren't so enthused about getting people around him. Zion Williamson also stated that they didn't want him them they didn't want he didn't want them to get rid of Lonzo Ball. Look what happened. He he's got they got rid of Lonzo Ball as well. So I'm just wondering if his mind is there. But you once again, you have to ask yourself because this year, at the end of this year, they can sign him to a contract extension. Are the Pelicans going to be willing to sign him to a contract extension given his health? Because he isn't that durable. And you could have had John Morant, who is just as electrifying. He may not be his box office, which I get because you're in the business of making money. And when Zion Williamson is healthy, he put asses in the seat. However, John Moran is going to have a longer career than Zion Williamson. And I truly, truly, truly believe that. And it's been a long time since the New Orleans Pelicans and their fan base was able to do certain stuff that they did on draft night. Like so. Please. <laughs> That was a great reaction because they knew at that point in time that they got Zion Williamson number one. But now you have to ask yourself, are they regretting it? And are they, are they not this enthusiastic as they used to be because Zion Williamson is so injury Subscribe. Prone? And you have somebody else that was in the same exact draft class, John Morant, that I believe will be able to push the NBA to the next generation and move it forward along with the Lon or the Leangelo or not Leangelo, I'm so sorry, LaMelo Balls, Luka Doncic, Trey Young. You have those type of superstars that are in the league right now, Donovan Mitchells. John Moran is gonna be right there. So, which way is he gonna go? Is there gonna be somebody else out there that's gonna be willing to give him the max contract extension if he turns down, number one, the Pelicans contract or if the Pelicans don't offer him the contract, which I believe they will, but let's just play hypotheticals and say they don't. Is somebody else going to step up to the plate and give him a max contract extension? Let me know what you feel about that in the comments. Comment down below and let me know, okay? More content is on the way. Please stay tuned. I want to say happy holidays to everybody out there. I hope you guys are, have a safe and joyous time with your family. And once again, we're going to toast to life, health, wealth, Last but not least, Sports Talk. Salute. And until next time, this is Baseline and Goal Line. I am Alan Cole, BZ Colburn. Peace and love.